good afternoon and Merry Christmas if indeed you're watching this on Christmas Day. If not, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ah, <sighs> welcome. So, quick review first of all. Um, this was a present from Erin, which I think is awesome. I love it. Uh, this was a present from a work colleague. This is just flashing lights. Um, I would have it on, but as you can probably it's in like that that's gonna play havoc with well everything so but it does it does it has a flashy um my partner got me an Amazon voucher so that's that we also have like various biscuits and chocolates and stuff going on uh, Adam got me some party rings but he doesn't just get me a bag of party ring crying he, he he came in this um this tin because because he knows I like fun novelty tins so there we go, that's, there's Vinny the fox panda. <laughs> uh, fox is obviously the, the company that make make the biscuits. Uh, I also got uh, this from my friend at work, who I've only known for a few months, and he's like, oh, you like friends, I'll get you that. So that is awesome. And, oh, nearly knocked the camera over. Nearly knocked the camera over. Come on, you get back there. And I also got, hey, almost did it without knocking anything over, this from the same friend from work, which is a diary colouring in thing. i uh, got various pictures of various sort of intricacy um, in there. There's actually a phoenix in here as well, which I'm quite chuffed about, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So that's going to be fun. It's quite um, detailed picturing. Um, but yeah. So I haven't seen my family yet. I'm going to see them on Saturday. So I'll have a whole bunch more fun presents. Oh, this needs a new pyjamas as well. Because I thought Christmas Day, got nice new pyjamas. Uh, so yes, but that's not what I brought you here to talk about. I didn't bring you here just to talk about like my um, modest pile of presents so far. I actually brought you here to talk about this. This is, I actually did, um, basically when this arrived, because I, I got one for me and one for Adam. When it arrived, I, I just got this giant box and I couldn't remember what it was. And I have no idea. I had no idea. So, um, but I did do a very brief video of me unboxing the box that these came in. And I was like, oh, now I remember. But I was going to upload that. And obviously, I haven't. But this is a stocking of stuff, adult novelty stocking fillers, basically. It's a stocking full of stocking fillers, which is kind of fun. And I got this from Harper's Bazaar for a number which i'm not going to tell you because that's good i got adam one as well and if you're watching this video i don't know but the value of everything in here is guaranteed to be more than 50 pounds so it's definitely worth it. I, I can tell you that i paid less than like i paid half at least half of the value of the thingy so you know so oh there's they say uh, no no less than 50 pounds worth so there you go and uh, just to show you i haven't i haven't already looked it's all still sealed up so there you go. So we are going to have a dive through this stocking. I have a rough idea what's in here because it did say on the website the sort of stuff. But it doesn't mean to say we can't have fun opening it up anyway and having a look. Um, besides, I've actually forgotten some of the things it said. Actually, the one thing I do remember it said because this was in... Because they had male and female like adult stockings, but they also had like kid stockings of various ages and, and like a boy and girl. And almost every single item, like every single stocking, regardless of what age or gender it was for, um, has a, a tin of uh, Magic Party glue stuff. So I know I've definitely got that. So item number one, Prosecco shot glasses. Now, I don't get the whole thing Prosecco. Like, we had our, <coughs> excuse me, my throat's still sore. We had our staff do. And like cocktails, like I had prosecco. Oh, why is with prosecco? Anyway, so I ordered a um, just a cocktail. It was a Pont Saint Martini. It was really nice. It was fruity, a guava, and stuff like that. But on the side, they put prosecco shots. I tried it and I was like, it's just a dry, sparkly wine. I was like, not overly impressed. Uh, these miniature Prosecco glasses will add a touch of sophistication to downing shots made with, from real glass. Now raise a glass and down it. So, uh, are they 
there you go. So they are still shot glasses. They are, um, yeah, I guess I don't have to have Prosecco. They're just shaped like little wine glasses. So uh, let's get one out. Yeah, that is, that is well. Wow, that's actually got a pretty good tone to it. Well, okay, come on. Must have knocked a thing. But yeah, that's, that is real glass. Um, it is very, very cute. Uh, and uh, because it is the season of why the hell not. There we go, that's just water. Um, but, you know, might as well christen it. So cheers. Yeah, it's actually not bad. That's a pretty good pour. So yeah, a little little wine glass, um, shot glasses, actually made of glass, which I'm quite quite impressed with. Not, not, not cheap plastic. So we're already off to a good start. Even though I'm not a big fan of prosecco, because I tried it and I wasn't that impressed. <sighs> oh yes, oh yes. If you know anything about me, in fact, I think I can't remember if I've showed you this guys before, but I actually have a an item that complements this. So this is a an inflatable pineapple ring drink holder. So basically, uh, keep your tropical uh, tipples beside you. This with this floating um, waterproof holder, perfect for sunbathing in the pool and on the beach. And the reason it took me a while to read that is because it's got that curly text, and you know how much I love reading curly text. But yeah, I actually have a. Like an ice bucket it's an inflatable ice bucket that is actually pineapple it actually it even comes with the um like the, the lid as a separate thing it's in the wardrobe at the moment and i'm sure if, i can't remember if i've showed it before but yeah so i already have so this is actually neat because like i said i've already got the um ice bucket thing and I love inflatable. I'm such a big kid. I love inflatable stuff. Um, there you go. Pretty good size. I mean, obviously that will fit. Just not very steady. But you know, if it was slightly wonky, you're still not going to lose it in the water, are you? Let's see. We've got a bigger cup. Uh, I've got my mug and that won't really fit. Although, yeah. A bit big for my mug. A bit small for my mug. But they, you wouldn't put a mug in there. But yeah, there you go, inflatable pineapple thing that will go in my other inflatable pineapple thing. So that's that's cool, that's a complimentary item there. Where are we at next? Uh, this stuff. Oh, cool! Sweet Shop scented markers. Um, scented markers, yeah, basically just that. Let's see what the flavours are. Uh, it says here, it's like strawberry sweets, orange, lemon drops, apple, some kind of blueberry thing, I guess. Cherry... Yeah, so it's not just like regular fruits, it's like sweet shop versions of fruits. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know if they are the type of ones that you can just sniff them and they smell automatically or you have to activate them by drawing on them. So we have plenty of scrap paper. Oh, this is my, um, I got some sparkly, hello dad, I got some sparkly sharp, uh, possibly the pens the other day. Let me just move you over there. And uh, sorry, I said all my Christmas good mornings every earlier, <coughs> and all my family is slowly responding to me. So, uh, pop those out. Let's go with this one. Does it say on the barrel what smell it's supposed to be? No. I don't. Let's kind of smell like the thingy. Let me just see a bit. It's not overwhelming, but you don't necessarily want it to be overwhelming. So that's, I don't know, black deck we've got here. Oh, that's strong. Yeah, it's definitely like a... Yeah, it's more like when you, you're using the pen, um, it smells. And then when it's on the paper. Oh, that's like a bubble gum. It's like a cheap bubble gum. <clears throat> now let's just do this quickly. Yes, that's definitely a nice orange. And 
Apple, yeah. <laughs> Definitely it's like a sweet apple, you can sort of smell the sugar as well. Which is good actually, it's, it's sort of weird. And I've just got pen on my nose. Oh, I've got pen on my nose. Yep. Oh, better pen on my nose, there we go. Enjoy that for the rest of the video. Oh yeah, blueberry. I'm not a big fan of blueberry. Um, but they're actually, they're quite good. Um, like another strawberry bubble gummy thing. Not sure. So I'm part of these scented pens that don't, don't quite. Oh, wow. I think this one's supposed to be the lemon drop, but it smells burnt, like over caramelized. Yeah. So yeah, that's what they smell like, and uh, that's what they look like. So they're pretty bright colours as well. So there you go, that's my um, pens. Wait, can I get four of those? I don't know. There you go, that's my pens. There we go, what's next? Ooh! Oh! Okay, cool! I know someone who's going to try and steal these off me for their friend, and I'm going to say, no! Cacti erasers. Novelty, um, novelty rubbers. Um, so I'll have to put those somewhere safe. Uh, apparently you mix and match, so I'm guessing it means you can take them from one pot and put them in another. Uh. So what about you guys? What, do, you, do you like the silly novelty items? Do you enjoy, you know, daft things? What's your favourite daft thing? You know, like the thing that's it's a bit silly, you know it's a bit silly, but you don't care because you like it. Or, you know, it's got a special meaning to you for, for any other reason. There we go. That's really cute, actually. I like that. So, and, and do you do you collect like things? Do you do you have things that you like collecting, like novelty erasers or rubbers or whatever you want to call them? Yeah. So the, basically, the the pot comes out of that, and I think yeah, you can change the flowers as well. So there you go. I won't play with all of them. We have got that one, a little roundy. And then your, your Mexican wave. So there you go. That was possibly slightly racist. I'll apologise to my friend later. And uh, oh, that's kind of cute. That's the um, the inside of the the wrapper, which we won't be keeping. But you know, in case you want to see it. Next. Oh, yeah, we go. The smart putty. I've never really had any of this stuff before. Oh wow, that's okay. Is that in a Okay, okay, that's a so it's in a tin. And I'm assuming that's a ba ah, okay. So that's a bag, and you have to take it out of the bag. <clears throat> I told you I've never had this stuff before. Not since I was a kid. And it was like a proto version, which probably wasn't as good as this stuff. All right, I'll get it out. Let me just uh, not. I don't, I mean, I would say I don't know why this stuff's sort of becoming popular again recently, but it's weird, icky, slightly gross. Of course it's popular because kids like that sort of stuff. And some adults do as well. There we go. Oh, that, that actually feels pretty solid. I'll just, there you go, I'll just grab a piece of it. That actually feels pretty solid. There you go. I guess you're supposed to scratch it and squish it and do stuff with it. I've only got a smaller piece of it off, so it's a nice clean smell, just smells like a plastic. There you go. Some gooey party stuff. Obviously it's got a little bit shady now I've been playing with it, but yeah, it's fine. So tin of crit silly party, not a whole lot to say about that because what can you say about silly party? Uh or oh, sorry, smart party. Uh there's some stuff on the bottom about you know that's probably just like health and safety stuff all right next oh ooh, something soft oh cool <laughs> silly socks um basically um uh, sneaker socks i'm already wearing like i said before i'm wearing uh, christmas socks there you go you can see that very well there you go um but yeah no i was looking at these when i was on the shelf um i got my brother-in-law a set which are a different set and um so yeah these are like little trainer socks i i i don't know if i've told you guys already but i recently went through my sock drawer like the um like the thin socks like this and the fuzzy socks and i got i got way more than i realized there we go 
So that's, to be honest, I don't tend to wear like little ankly socks like this because um, I like, you know, they go past my ankles, so my feet stay warm. But these are very cute. I probably will wear these at least once as a kind of, just to wear them. Um, but yeah, that's very neat. I like that. That is cute. And you say you can't really go wrong. I mean, we've like I said, for the money I paid for this, we're definitely meeting our value. Ooh, let's move right here. Ooh, another tin. Ooh. Okay, so there you go. I when fidget spinners were a thing, I never had one. My nephew has a couple actually, the younger nephew, and he um so he 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 was a big fan, but I never really had one. But I. Secretly, I kind of wanted one, but I didn't want to have to pay for it necessarily. So yeah, technically I paid for this, but... Oh, that's got really good balance. There we go. Yeah, no, I like... It's, uh... Like I said, it's got quite... I'm not sure which way... Would you... Do you think it's like supposed to be so blades forward or blades backwards? I'm guessing forward. There we go. So yeah, I, I now have a fidget spinner. Which honestly, I like the colouring as well. Um, so I don't necessarily like the camo thingy, but you know, proud Ravenclaw. So I'm down with blue stuff. There we go. That's cool. I has a fidget, fidget spinner. Uh, what else we got? Where we got? We got. Come on, then. we're getting we're getting close to the bottom now. Oh yeah, now there was. I think. No, it's the wrong shape. I was going to say, I think they said they were going to put a Funko in here, but that's not right. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Okay, um, mini massager. Uh, great for relieving aches and pains th with three vibrating light up heads. Uh, AAA batteries. Does it come with batteries included? We'll find out in a second. Uh, let's see what this little fella looks like. That's what he looks like. And to be fair, my shoulder gets really bad, so I will... Ah, bum holes. He hasn't got his batteries in. Uh, give me a second. I'll have a look what else is in the box, and then we'll put the batteries in this fella. Because I do happen to have some AAAs lying around. It just means that you'll be looking at the ceiling for a second. Oh! Something small and squishy. Think. Oh! Oh, okay. Sorry, I was looking at like from that side. I'm like, what the, what the? Oh, it's a flamingo pen. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a rubbery, strange flamingo. And he's been garrot like that. That thing is right through his neck. Yeah, it's right through his neck. Um, I'm open to name suggestions for the flamingo. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's interesting for it being a Christmas stocking. How many sort of you know, su summery and, and like, you know, sunny day things are in here. I wouldn't say flamingos are necessarily a sunny day thing, but, uh, you know, I think they are mostly found in tropical climates, like natively. I mean, I've, I've seen them in zoos and such, but, you know, if, if they're out in the wild, they are, like, you know, warm places. Hang on, let me just get this off. Careful with the knife. Always careful with the knife. If you do poke yourself, make sure you're not bleeding. Which I'm not, so we're okay. Uh, I do appreciate, by the way, if you're spending your Christmas with me or if you're watching this whole video, because I realise this is kind of a long, slightly longer than normal and possibly ramblier than normal. But, you know, if you are still here, I do appreciate it. So, there you go, it's black. And uh, if we're writing somewhat normally, it will just it will just wiggle around and be silly, but yeah, it's actually not a bad writer. It's got good ink. <clears throat> All right, then. So that's that. That's just weird. Um, anything else? Oh, okay. Last item. Yep, last item, and it's it's one of these, and I I actually love every time I go into this store. I go to where these are and I play with them because they are awesome. And now I have one of my own, so I'm really happy about that. And it is, if you know, oh, light up squishy mesh ball. Ah, I love these things. Let's see if we can get it to light up. Let me just turn that off and this. Oh, that is cool. 
Yeah, there you go. So it actually will go through the bubbles. There we go. So there it is. Uh, that is the final item in here. And probably the one I've had the most fun with because, oh my God, these I love these things. I love these things. Like just the general stressy, stress heady things I quite enjoy anyway. And then the meshy, glittery light up. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I've also had another text message since I've been doing this. So um, that's something. Oh, yes. Need to send. Uh, so, yeah. Um, honestly, I do like the fidget spinner. This is a lot of fun. Um, I will put batteries in this in a second. Um, I can't say this is a favourite item because they are all designed to be a little bit goofy. I am quite impressed with these, the fact they are real glass. I do like that, so that's quite cute. Um, my finger hurts. Pens, like the, 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 yeah, both of like the pen and the, the colouring pens. I will use these because, you know, bright colours. And I do like having colourful things. Um, the cacti are very cute as well. Can't really go wrong with the cacti. Right, excuse me for a second. You probably will look at... Oh, yeah, there's the wall. And down in. See, told you some batteries. That wasn't too scary, was it? Didn't, didn't go too far up, did you? Just uh, looking at my painting again. All right, let's see what this thing's like. And is it as um, potentially uh, grown up as some of you might be thinking? Uh, probably not. Like I said, I'll probably use it on my shoulders because my shoulders get so tense. I don't know why. Like, I know, like, the last couple of days I've been sleeping on my arm. Like, I slept funny. Like, it took ages to feel right again the other day. Um... But yeah, this shoulder especially gets, there we go. That's, okay, that's really interesting. Let me just turn this off. Cause this light, if you can look in my hand, is actually red, but for some reason it's showing up on the camera as white. Is it a distance thing? All right, it's, it's, oh. Okay. All right, that's good. That is good. Yeah, it's just the one setting. Oh, but that is. I think this, like on its own, might be kind of like worth the price I paid for it. Like, because items like this aren't always cheap. So, um, yeah, um. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you the price of the bag of this because, you know, I also want one for Adam and I don't know if he's going to watch this as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, definitely worth the price. Definitely worth the price. Um, sorry. There you go. Um, so do you have a, a favourite thing that was in here? Um, have you got a name suggestion for the flamingo? Hello. Hello. I am the flamingo. I am not sinister at all. There we go. <laughs> uh, fidget spinner party. I mean, yeah, it's it's a bag of silly stuff. It is. It's but um, it's fun silly stuff. And liable. So uh, yeah, I don't think like I said, I don't think I have a favorite. Possibly this, you know, because that will become useful. To sort out my shoulders. Um. So probably that by default of it most likely being the most expensive item in here. Um, but yeah, like I said, the rest of it is fun. The little socks are fun. The fidget spinner. It's, it's a fidget spinner, but you know, it's fun. Um, yeah, no, I'm not playing favourites. So, um, uh, cheers everyone. Thank you for watching if you have been, especially those of you who've got all the way to the end. Because like I said, this has been long, this has been rambling, it's been a bit weird. But hopefully you've got something out of it. As I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you next time. Bye!